Hi everyone, Vacha here from Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me again today. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate a free pitch correction and pitch shifting VSTI plugin and I'm going to use it to demonstrate in Cakewalk by BandLab. The plugin that I'm going to demonstrate today is called Greylon version 2 from Auburn Sound. It is a pitch correction as well as pitch shift pitch tracking modulator and beat crusher as well, all in one. But today I'm going to demonstrate the free version which only supports pitch correction and pitch shift. Those are the two most requested plugins for free or of all time, of all VSTs. How do I do pitch correction for free instead of paying for Melodyne or Autotune or Waves Tune? Well, this plugin will do it for free. And I'm going to demonstrate it in Cakewalk by BandLab. To download the plugin, just go to auburnsounds.com and then search for products of Graylon. And then you can, it's what you see on the screen right there. You can read about it on the screen of what it actually does. And you can buy the full version that also does the other part of the VST plugin for 29 euros. But we're going to download the free version and install it on my laptop, which I haven't done yet. So this is a great way to see how I'm going to do it. And the free version, as mentioned down here, you get pitch shifting and pitch correction. I'll let you browse through at your own pleasure. I'm going to click free edition and download it. It's a very small file. It's not that big. Okay, I'm going to open the folder. And as you can see on the screen, there it is there. Brilliant. FE 2.1 inside the folder and you get the 32-bit as well as 64-bit VST and AAX and also supports for Mac OS as well. The one I want is the 64-bit and that's right there. So I'm just going to copy that and in my local drive, program files, VST plugins, and I'm just going to say paste. Okay, continue. So what that basically did is that I opened the zip file, which the download was a zip file. I went to the zip file and then copied the file which was zipped and included as a 64-bit because that's what I, we need for Cakewalk and then copy that in my PC where my VST plugins reside which is my local disk program files VST plugins. As you can see I've got a lot of other plugins in there and that's about it. The program is now installed. So let's open up Cakewalk by BandLab and have it uh, inserted in and we'll try it out. Okay, I've got Cakewalk running. Just going to open up a demo project. There we go, a demo project open. Just going to go to plugins and I'm just going to look for the uh, new plugin that just installed. And there it is there. Just going to right click on there and categorize it under pitch shift. And there we go. If you don't find it, the way around it is you can, well, you need to go into the utilities, Cakewalk Plugin Manager. And you have to make sure under the options of VST configuration that you have program files and VST plugins added. By default, Cakewalk will actually put the parts, Cakewalk Shared Utilities and Cakewalk VST plugins, but you also need to add these ones as well. Because in most cases, that's where your VST plugins gets installed. And once you've got that, you click OK, scan VST plugins, and that will show. And here we are, Grelion. Now I'm going to use this plugin on one of the vocals here, vocal tracks that I have. I can simply drag it. And there we are. 
let's just solo the vocals and play it without any of the settings change by default settings and we'll go through some of the settings as we listen autumn wraps us up tighter than we were prepared for but we don't need to let it spin out we can grasp every moment and walk okay cool now let's uh, add some correction amount for pitch correction. This is our pitch correction area. This is our pitch shift. Bit crusher, if you click, say it's locked, unless you pay the 29 euros. You'll also open up the um, pitch tracking module, which is really great, ha Harmony Creator. So that's locked as well. And let's just put that to the middle. So we get the stereo input for it. And uh, in the middle is what is displayed of what note is being heard and corrected. So let's have a listen again. And just watch out this circle here. That is where you're actually seeing what note she's singing. Autumn wraps us up Tighter than we were prepared for Currently we don't have any settings enabled because it's turned off. So let's turn our correction to you know 50 percent and then we'll able to see what's going to happen to it it is chromatic of course you can select which keys to go on so if you already know the key of the song you can select the notes and that will enable to only snap to those notes on the keys autumn wraps us up Tighter than we were prepared for. Okay, so we still don't have that much change. Let's put it to 100%. Autumn wraps us up. Tighter than we were prepared for. Now we're actually hearing some effects. It's uh, shifting the, uh, the vocal to a certain note that it's slightly out. And let's uh, get some more inertia going. I'm just going to 50%. Autumn wraps us up Tighter than we were prepared for So that definitely can be heard what's, uh, what's happening to the vocal. It's really pulling the notes away. And let's just make it a bit smoother, about 50%. Autumn wraps us up Tighter than we were prepared for. The amount of correction is how much of the shifting of the note to the closest note that it thinks it's going to shift. So somewhere about here is probably a good one. Smoothing around here and inertia there. And correction about 50%, maybe more. And that all depends on what you want to listen to. Autumn wraps us up tighter than we were prepared for okay so it will have from very subtle pitch correction to really t-pain so if we set the range all the way bring this smooth this all the way down let's try now autumn wraps us up Tighter than we were prepared for. So we completely got different sound for Sophia as she was singing than what it was before. So you can play with your heart contents about the pitch correction. This is sort of one of the best ones that I have found for free VST plugin for pitch correction. There are a few other ones out there like G Snap and Kiwi, but I think this is much more natural. Once you play around with inertia as well as the smooth and the snap range to allow your vocalist to have some of those subtle out of uh, note, you know, um, out of pitch, and then just correct very tiny ones to still allow the feeling to come through without feeling that it's being auto-tuned. So that's 
this is really fantastic one to use. Now the next I'm going to demonstrate is a pitch shift. Let's turn those off for now. Let's have a listen. Autumn wraps us up tighter than we were prepared for. So let's do a pitch shift. Let's go up by one. Autumn wraps us up tighter than we were prepared for. So we practically went up uh, a key. You can see as I move this, the circle around here changes as well because that's determining what it's going. So autumn wraps us up. Tighter than we were prepared for. Let's preserve some formants. But we don't need to let it spin out. We can grasp every moment and walk off our doubts. So that's that's what that's what the the difference it actually is making. So let's just turn it off. Autumn wraps us up. Tighter than we were prepared for. Now pitch shift. But we don't need to let it spin out. We can grasp every moment and walk. So as you can see, it's so gentle, so smooth pitch shifting that you can actually um, change the key of the vocal singer to up or down without too much artifacts. So here is something what I'm going to do is show you with the pitch shift. So what I'm going to show you now is how to create harmonies from the lead vocals using the uh, Grelon 2 VST plugin that I just demonstrated. So I'm just going to right click on there and say duplicate track. And here I'm going to click the events as well. Event send. Yep. That's all good. So now I have a duplicate. Now you might go, oh, here's one actually tip. You see how the waveform here is much sort of bigger than this one, even though they're exactly the same. Now looking at the screen, you might go, well, that's going to be louder than this one, surely. It's not. I will show you why. Let's have a listen to this one. Autumn wraps us up Tighter than we were prepared for Okay, let's listen to this one. Autumn wraps us up Tighter than we were prepared for Now one thing you might notice is on the side I have the dB meter available. And if you cannot see it, then click on View, Display, Show Audio Scale. Make sure that's enabled. And now you can see that actually my, when my mouse is, it says minus 21, where here it says minus 3. So I can actually zoom that in to the same scale. Now, this is not gain staging. It's not increasing or decreasing the volume. It's just making the waveform big enough so you can actually see it because it's still minus 21 dB at peaks. Okay, so let's have a look at the second one. And I'm going to go to uh, Grelian. And here I'm going to shift this up by 3. There we go. Let's have a listen to this one. This is the new track that we just made copy of. Up, tighter than we were prepared for. Okay, so now let's enable the initial one as well. So we have two tracks, they're identical except one of them. This one is not turned on. The second one has Grellion turned on and pitch shifted up. Let's have a listen. Autumn wraps us up. Tighter than we were prepared for. But happen the same page. What happened to making it last? You don't want to tie down. 
don't you don't need no set sound. Well, as you can hear, I adjusted it and it's on, you know, three pitch level up and it's giving nice harmonies and just balance the fader a little bit so you get nice balance just sort of supporting the original main vocal. Autumn wraps us up Tighter than we were prepared for But we don't need to let it spin out We can grasp every moment And walk off our doubts And I want to give this a try See where you're coming from, but open your eyes. We're fading and we're fading fast. What happened the same page? What happened to making it last? You don't want no tie down, you don't need no set sounds. When six months. Well, there we go. So you can actually use um, the Grelon uh, 2 to create pitch correction as well as harmonies. To a certain degree, you still need to play around with it to get the best out of it. Obviously, harmonies, you need to put it in the choruses. Um, so actually build up the vocal into it. And it, once you find the right uh, frequency range, and you can even create the pitch correction on top so that it's in the right harmony, which I didn't do in this example, then you can get pretty much perfect harmonies. Well, there it is. That's Graylon 2 for pitch correction and pitch shift, the free VST plugin for auto-tuning your vocals or creating harmonies. If this was helpful, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe as well, because I plan to have a lot more videos on Cakewalk by BandLab, not just the usual how to start it, how to set it up, but more in detail of how to get things done as well. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio guys!